Hi everyone, I'm Liz. This is Vera's My Bag. I'm back to do a what's in my bag in my car uh, video. It's a very blustery February 15th <laughs> post Valentine's Day um, what's in my bag. Um, I'm sitting in the parking lot uh, outside of my grocery store even though it's blustery. Well, it is pretty cold. Um, but it's not too cold in the car, so I'm okay. I took my jacket off. Um, I just thought I would do a what's in my bag. I moved into a different bag um, today. I've been carrying around uh, my sort of Valentine's bag for the last five days, four or five days. I was in a um, Vera tote in um, Felicity Paisley pink, which I did post a picture on the, on, uh, the Facebook group that I'm in and also um, on my Instagram. So there's a photo there of it. It was really pretty, nice big tote um, with all that beautiful trim, nice and pink for Valentine's Day. But I've been hankering to get in a different um, pattern for a while. I don't know why I got this in my head, but I think I'd seen quite a few people um, post pictures of it recently. And it was like, I really feel like I want to get into um, this pattern, and uh, but I couldn't figure out what I had done with my um, tote in it. So um, this is the um, yeah. bag that I'm in. I'll just zip it back up so you can kind of get a good um, view of it. I'm going to twist this around so you can see. Um, so I am. I moved into this um, small Vera tote in... Um, Foxwood. And uh, yeah, I've been kind of hankering to get into this. It does have some red in it, but um, it was a little bit, it was not quite Valentine-y enough for me, but it does feel like a nice bag to move into um, the day after Valentine's. And um, like I said, I've been kind of hankering to get into my Foxwood, but I think I have I know I have a 100 bag in it, but that one's buried somewhere. Um, and I really was feeling like a tote and uh, particularly sort of a um, a square one. I also have a Glenna in this, but for some reason the Foxwood, it was calling to me to use um, kind of more of this shape bag right now. So this is what I'm carrying. This is Foxwood and I um, can't remember when Foxwood was re released. Um, it was somewhere in the 2019-2020 time frame, I believe. Um, and I know that because this has that really beautiful um, ribbon trim that they were using during that time period. So there's probably 10 patterns that have ribbon trim like this um, down the sides. And uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of many of them. Daisy Dot was one of them, Lavender Meadow. Um, yeah, I can't think of, I think can't think of what else, but if you go in the pattern archive, which I'll leave the link below for that, but if you go in the pattern archive, um, you can you can look at the, the bags that are around the time frame of Foxwood and you will be able to figure out which ones they are. But they're very, um, they're gorgeous. And of course we have piping um, that, went on the sides of the straps and with a, especially with a small Vera tote, um, I feel like the piping, um, is, helps the, the sturdiness of these sort of more skinny straps. So this is Foxwood and, um, this particular bag, I don't believe has any foxes on it. I picked this up, um, from a friend, um, in the group, um, in very excellent use condition. Um, yeah, I don't even think there's a fox on the bottom here. Um, I don't think I got a fox anywhere on this, to be honest, but it, that didn't matter to me. I'm The thing I'm really attracted to on this bag is this dot work um, and just the overall sort of um, palette on this with sort of the black background and then um, the reds and you've got a little bit of sort of sun, sunny reds or burnt, kind of burnt orange reds that I really like. But this, this the particular 
uh, ribbon trim is what really attracts me to this. And because it's because of all these little tiny elements in here, I've got little dot work going on and these little foxtails, if that's what they are. Um, and then I love the contrast of the fact that the little, the dot work in here is, is white or mint, um, with the, with the sort of, um, magenta and sort of reddish, there's some reddish purples in here. Um, and then you've got, you know, the, um, the warmer tones of these, um, kind of orange, yellowy orange, um, flowers. So very pretty. Get a little bit more of the, bat, the pattern back here. This flower is not so, it's not bothering me too much. I like that it's kind of centered on here. Um, there are some other, there's one other flower that is not my favorite and that is this one here, which is just, I don't know why this one it's just, it's just too kind of obnoxious. <laughs> There's like all this delicate patterns, um, really nice. And then this is just sort of, I don't know, to me, it just doesn't go in the pattern, but I know they like to stick like big flowers, um, in, in the patterns, like one or two. Um, so yeah, this was, at least it's on the side and I don't have to deal with it. This, I really like this one here with sort of the bluish, um, and the white, all the white in this really gives me that good contrast. And then of course we have this really nice silver, pla the silver kind of plastic zippers. They're not the hard metal that catch your hands. And I really like it because it's, you know, that very soft, easy to pull zipper um, on there. Got the black ribbon, um, which does not say Vera Bradley. So this at this time frame, I guess they weren't using that. So anyway, I just thought I would show you what's in here. Um, this is the small Vera Tote, which is, I really like all the Vera Totes, to be quite honest. Um, I don't think there's too many bags that I'm not a big fan of. I think the, probably the Triple Zip Hipster in the cotton, I'm not um, that big of a fan, just because I carry a little bit more and it's a little bit too of a shallow bag. But most other um, bag styles I have ended up really liking. It wasn't that way in the beginning though. I can, they all kind of started growing on me. Um, all right, so let's take a look at what I have in the bag. Um, so, oh, the bag's got this sort of recessed zipper here um, and then the hidden pocket, um, which you can see a little bit of the um, interior pattern there. Um, so it's got a nice hidden, nice uh, recess. And you know, with the recess, um, you can, end up having a little bit more so that this will push up if your bag is a little bit tight and it's got too many things in it so that's always a nice feature um, it is open um, ended like you can get your fingers down it's not completely um, closed on the ends um, it's got the little bit longer tail of the zipper with um, the foxwood material on there so we'll open this up um, this gives you a little peek inside what I'm carrying in there and you can see that really pretty pattern in there um, I can never remember I believe it's called fauna but I can never remember the first word in that for that pattern that's in there but we'll look at that a little bit more closely after I get everything out of here um, so this is a really gorgeous pattern if you can find any of it it's it's just really a great collector's piece um, so inside of the bag, um, let me pull this up just a little bit, then you can see a little bit better. Um, I've got um, my uh, zip ID in um, Garden Grove with this nice big pink and blue flower on here. And then the, um, get a little glimpse of that. And then I've got the lanyard, the wide lanyard in Itsy Ditsy. Um, I've got about four or five wide lanyards, a couple cotton and a couple of the more nylon kind. And I really like them. They help me find my um, zip ID quickly in the store, which I keep like my um, grocery store scan card, my frequent buyer card or whatever you call it. Um, um, in the um, 
main compartment, I've got my, um, so I was carrying that for my um, cards that I want to get to quickly. Um, my debit card and my um, grocery store card, those are the ones that I need to get to quickest. And then I've also got, um, so this is Foxwood and this is Fox, Fox Forest. Um, this is a turn lock wallet. And again, lots of little dots. I'm very attracted dot to dot work that Vera has um, in a lot of the patterns. Um, and I really love these little flowers here. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Some sort of a bell-shaped flower. To me, they look like gumdrops. I don't know why, but <laughs> that's what I always think of. Or even like snowy mountain gumdrops. They're, the, this, the white up there is just really attractive to me with the mint. So that's what it reminds me of. And it's got these really pretty pa uh, pastel sort of purple. And the blue. I did not get any foxes on this wallet, but I guess that's apropos because I didn't get any foxes on the bag either, but st just still great pattern with lots of nice details. There's the back. So I got lots of pink here, all the blues. And this is actually, uh, if you turn it this way, you can see there's two birds there. That, pa that piece of material, oh, I did get foxes. There they are right there. That piece of material kind of wraps around so the the material is um it's not cut so when you get to this side it's um i guess it would be upside down if you were holding the wallet the other way but yeah so it's a great wall it's a turn lock um and uh you could throw in my car all my extra cards go in there that i'm not needing access to right at the moment um, I also have a um, cosmetic in Blueberry Blooms. Um, and this is carrying just like some. This is uh, this was from one of the like a triple. It's a triple sized cosmetic from the factory. And this pattern is from a couple years ago. Um, I'm just I really love the blue. Um, I've got like one. I've got one bag in this, and then this little pouch. So I don't. I didn't get the whole. This was I bought this third party off of. Um, eBay or somewhere so it wasn't all three pouches but this came as a, like a triple um, pouch set from the factory and though they still sell the pouches kind of that way this is cotton but nice pattern very attracted to the purples and the blues that are in here I thought this would be good inside this kind of darker to be able to find it and then I've got um, my um, double eyeglass case in Gramercy Paisley. I think I might have had this in the last what's in my bag video. Or maybe I did it in my bag switch. I bet you that was it. That's what I'm remembering. So when I did my bag switch, so I'm still carrying this for my reading glasses and my sunglasses, which are on my head. Um, so it's kind of the main compartment. Um, I do have, oh, I do have a, um, a heart, um, pouch this is a coin pouch that can I think you can use it as a, a bag charm as well I don't use it that way especially on his on a tote there's not really a place to put it except on that front zipper and I'm not really wanting to hang that from there it's kind of big um, but inside here I've got um, carrying just uh, my eye drops and I think there's a chapstick and a hair tie in there if I need it so I think this was from the, the Stitched Flowers release with the little hearts. Got pink and red hearts on there. So I pulled that out for Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, I'm also carrying my um, ear pods in this. Um, this is a lug um, round pouch. And uh, it's just plain inside. I think this is in Wildflower. I, I don't remember if there was another name with it, but something Wildflower. So I have that in there. Um, and then um, inside one of this slip, so the inside of this bag has like six slip pouches. I've got my water bouquet, um, coin purse, and inside of here has got just my asthma spray. I was carrying it around in that. 
the inside of this pattern is very pretty. I don't think I have a bag in water bouquet. I think I just have this one item in water bouquet with an interior. It's really pretty. But I thought that blue looked good with this and then also was easy to find. I've also got my um, pink pirouette um, tissue case. This is was a very is a very rare item, hard to find, um, and uh, it's it's perfect for a pack of tissues. It came in like one or two, maybe two patterns. I don't think there was three. Maybe um, I can't remember the other one. Jazzy blooms, maybe. Um, these are kind of hard to find, but if you um, search for zip IDs, sometimes these come up because people think that it's a zip ID when it's actually got um, this flap for the tissue. So that's really pretty. I just got a bag in pink pirouette that I bought third party because I didn't have anything except for that in the pink pirouette. It's a really pretty pattern. Um, and then just thrown in a couple of one of these uh, pouches. Um, yeah, there it is. It's my um, lanyard uh, with the key fob and another lip balm and then a hand cream. So that was what was in the, in the pouches. So the interior of this um, has six uh, slip pouches just like the Vera Tote and that doesn't have a zip, uh, a zip pocket into, on the inside. It does have a zip pocket on the outside though. Um, and again, that's got that really nice zipper. Um, so the interior of this is um, something fauna. Well, not wildlife fauna. I can't remember, but definitely fauna. Um, and you can see it has this really great pattern that is so pretty with all these like little critters. I mean, there is critters on the outside, um, but they're a little bit larger and you're less likely to kind of get the the uh, critters on the outside. There's this, I don't know, he's cut off. So you get this little squirrel here. Do I have a bigger one on the back? No, I didn't get one on the back. I did get um, a hare, a rabbit there. Um, yeah, so my a lot of the critters on the exterior were kind of cut off. But on the interior, there is these little... Nut hat they look like a nut hatch to me, but they might be a woodpecker. Um, and there's a there's a squirrel there. So the the pattern is more of this sort of light lavender, sort of purple um, floral with some wheat, a sort of wheat or yellowy colors like blended in. And then all the little critters are in color. So you've got the squirrel there. There's the little nut hatch cardinal. This is, um, looks like a pheasant or a quail. Yeah, I think it's a quail. To me, that looks like a quail. Um, let's see what else. I've got another, more rabbits here. I've got like a blue colored rabbit. And then there's a little mouse. There's like a little, yeah, you can see him right there. He's a, like a little wood mouse. And there should be, um, I'm looking to see if I can find a fox. I believe there's foxes in the, in the interior pattern. Don't tell me I didn't get a fox on the interior either. <laughs> yeah, I don't see one. Maybe they just got this so symmetrical that they, they didn't catch any of them. Oh, there is one. There's one fox here. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to try to bend this a little bit to see for, for you to see the fox. There he is. So the the little critters stand out from that pattern because they're all in color. There's another little mouse back there, and then the squirrel. So really cute. Sorry that sun is kind of blowing out that. So very pretty little pattern in there. So that is what is in my bag. I'm gonna put everything kind of back in here while I'm talking to you. Um, there's not really much else going on in my world. I've been working on 
getting prepared for tax season. You know, I go from the stress of all the birthdays in the fall, and then the birthdays in the fall, and then early December, and then December, and then Christmas. And then I get to, um, I've got like a little reprieve in January. And then I get to February and I've got my two granddaughters' uh, birthdays. And we don't have a lot of family, um, so my daughter's kind of alone out there. There's another set of grandparents out there. Um, they don't do a whole lot for birthdays. Um, my so my daughter usually does a kid's birthday party. I thought about going, but I always think I'm gonna spend all this money to go watch kids roller skate or whatever. And it's just like, we don't have a family party because we don't really have a lot of family. My mother is too much, it's getting a little too hard to do kind of celebrations with my mom because she's very confused. So um, so that's that's kind of, gone off the one end is the birthday celebration so there's really not too many people to celebrate so i go a little overboard with the grandkids uh birthdays and i was just gonna send checks i told my daughter i'm just gonna send a check for this birthday you can take them shopping and then i could kind of tell like she was struggling to just you know think of who they have kids to invite to the kid party but there wasn't like there's no family really um, other than the other uh the other side of the the kids um family which like I said, they don't really do a birthday party. So I was like, all right, I'm going to stop being lazy about this. And so I went out shopping last week and sort of put myself in this pinch where I had to like get all the shopping done in like one or two days so I could like get it in the mail on Saturday because otherwise it wouldn't make it there for their birthdays or at the end of this week. Um, so because it, it's a cross country, um, it takes five days priority is a little bit faster and I can but I it was it was too heavy of a box for the priority for US mail so I had to use UPS it was a lot cheaper with UPS for that big box so um, I had got it in the UPS on Saturday afternoon so that was like so that stress is over now now it's tax season so I have like two weeks of no stress and then I got to start uh, the taxes um, so we're just kind of gathering up all the papers and I usually um, do my son's taxes for him because he's busy and you know it's like I'm so used to the software and how all, that all, all works and the deductions and everything so I just I'm like we already paid for the software we get an extra return with it so I'll just do your taxes for you don't worry um so I have two sets of taxes that I'm going to be doing so that's kind of what's going to take up my March I like to get them in early March or that late February early March so it's going to the next couple of weeks I'll get prepared for it and then be sending those in so that's my what's in my bag and my update what's going on with me so uh yeah leave me a comment let me know what you're carrying right now post valentine's day did you move out of any kind did you move out of a red or pink bag and move into something else or are you just going to stay in that bag um, for a while um so yeah this is my my exciting um bag for the next week. I'll probably be in this one for the next week. Um, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. Thanks for hanging out.